Even more rumors are coming in about a BMW supercar. Lamborghini makes an insane fighter jet looking car thing. Nissan has a plug-in hybrid race car for Le Mans. And a motorcycle rider hits a regular bicycle rider on a famous SoCal road. Plus, comment of the week, why AK? Because it's Monday. That's right. What's up, world? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Let's get it on, Max. Yeah. Well, the show. Oh, that's weird. For all you race fans, Nissan has announced it will be competing in the 2014 24 Hours of Le Mans armed with a new plug-in hybrid racer. Nissan's Nismo racing team is working with Ben Bowlby, that's the dude behind the Delta Wing car, to design the new whip. The car is going to race in the Garage 56 set of entries, which denotes technologically advanced cars that do not meet standard rules and restrictions. Expect more info as next year's Le Mans race gets closer, duh. Yeah. Keep me in the loop. I will. And usually as things get closer, you usually find out more about them. Right. Yeah. Mulholland Drive, or Mulholland Highway, you could say, in Southern California is famous for enthusiasts who want to take their car or motorcycle through some challenging but fun twists with a spectacular view thrown in. Sounds all well and good, right? Well, it is until an accident happens, which happens fairly often on this road. You know, when someone either isn't paying attention or is trying to be an F1 driver in the wrong situation. Now, some of you may have seen this video already, but we thought we'd point it out. We're pretty sure the motorcycle driver wasn't paying attention, and this video will definitely make you cringe a little bit. As the biker comes around at dead man's turn, as it's called, at fairly, fairly reasonable speeds, he doesn't seem to notice the pair of bicyclers on the right shoulder of the road. He then slams into both of them, injuring the first guy. Not sure how he didn't see them. He literally just drove right into them. Yeah. Pay attention out there, folks. Right. All right, come on now. That link's in the description if you'd like to see it. The guy was okay. He got up and walked away. Just road rash. That's good. Looked worse than it was. Lamborghini celebrated its 50th birthday on Saturday in Italy. As a surprise, the party was crashed by a one-off concept car designed by Walter De Silva. The car, called the Egoista, which means selfish. Duh. Ego. Get it? There's obviously there's only one car, so it makes sense. Pretty insane design, though. Sporting a 600-horsepower V10, the Egoista is basically a land-based Tomahawk missile. It's a single-seater with an orange-colored cockpit, requires special instruction for you to get in and out, makes you feel like you're flying a modern-day jet fighter with all the heads-up displays, and the front of it looks like a Nintendo 64 controller, as Tom pointed out. No actual plans to build this thing, but the fact that Lamborghini was bold enough to design it proves they like to push the limits of automotive design, whether it be beautiful or ugly. Also proves they're pretty damn cocky. Yeah, we'll make one for a ridiculous amount of money simply because we can. That's right. That's the way they do it. There never seems to be a lack of rumors surrounding BMW's famous M1 supercar successor, does there, AK? Mm. Never. And we have some more of them. Apparently, it'll be called the M8 and will debut in 2016. Using the i8 as a base, the M8 will rock a tweaked twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 out of the new M5. Expected to create over 600 of these. <laughs> yeah. It's expected that BMW will bring in some retro styling while using very modern elements like carbon fiber, titanium, and stuff like that to keep weight around 2,700 pounds. All that awesomeness is likely to cost about $325,000. So yeah, it's ready to take on rivals like Ferrari and Lamborghini in all aspects. Right, Max? Mm. Now let's just see if these rumors actually come true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Speaking of, mm-hmm, you guys know what time it is? Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Comment of the week time? Ooh. Comment of the week. Comment our show. Yeah, comment of the week. Comment. Ah. Good. That's a nice hang time, AK. This comment comes from an FLD fan named Alex Darby, who was pissed about that TFX flying car plane thing we talked about, I think it was Friday. Yeah. Yeah. He said this, that plane car thing on today's show will have to wait for screeching monkeys to fly out of my ass before it has any chance of success. Not only will it likely cost far more to purchase and operate than fools who might want it make an income, but it doesn't even look airworthy. <laughs> There isn't even enough wing. The tail, which is super helpful. 
for pitch and yaw control is missing. And this is the big one. They want to automate the most difficult part of flying, takeoff, and landing. Ass monkeys. Wow. Wow. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Alex Darby, you seem quite passionate about this. Now, I'm no pilot or aero engineer, but I think monkeys actually flying out of your ass is way more far-fetched than this plane thing actually flying. I mean, unless they're the monkeys from Wizard of Oz, because they at least had some wings. Yep. But still, fitting one in your ass, I could see being a pretty big challenge. Yeah. I mean, depending on the size of your ass, right? Or the size of the monkey, even. Yeah. Anyway, any monkey I've ever seen can't fly anyway. Right. So, as for the plane car, who knows what's going to happen, but you're, you're right. They, they hardly look like wings, I guess. They don't look that bad. Anyway, good luck with your ass monkeys. I don't yeah. know how that's going to work out. But I'm pulling for you. Right. All right. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> no. Doesn't sound good at all. Anyway, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily. On this Monday, I'm Derek D. Make sure you do what FLD fan Nawafaloosh is doing here. Yeah. He's on Twitter, he's on Facebook, YouTube, took a screenshot of the t-shirt, and he got his iPhone propped up on a toy car with the app open. Pretty cool. Just get all up on that Instagram and you're all set. Yeah. You know what I mean? Send those pictures in, guys. Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your Monday. Tell him, okay? Yes, please. No, no, you just tell him. You just tell him. Have a great Monday. Eh, just... Have a fantastic Monday. <laughs>